Hey guys, today's a nice uh, sunny day in California. It's nice and warm outside, just like Mustafar, where Anakin conveniently got burned. Today we're gonna be seeing if that is realistic. If he was next to uh, all that lava, would he have survived that? If he got, you know, if he caught on fire like that, would he have survived? Based on that clip, it looks like he got burned by some smoke, not some lava, and we can approximate it to be around one cubic meter, uh, which is around a million centimeters cubed. And the reason why I'm using centimeters is because usually density is measured in centimeters. For smoke, that would be 0.8 grams per centimeters cubed, and that would be equivalent to 800,000 grams, um, or 800 kilograms of smoke. That's a lot. And as I'm, I'm pretty skeptical of that number, but we'll just roll with it. So after that, we're going to use the equation Q equals MK, and we're going to plug in the kilogram kilograms of smoke that transferred heat to Anakin, which would be 800 kilograms. And then we're going to use 0.84 kilojoules divided by kilograms times Kelvin. And what that is is just, it's just specific heat of smoke. And then we're going to multiply it by 1073 minus x Kelvin. That's the delta T. From that equation, we get 721,056 minus 672 x as our kilojoules. Essentially, we don't really know the energy that was given off, but we can kind of just solve it. There is an x that is the final temperature. Temperature. And we're going to kind of just plug that into Anakin's, you know, estimated weight of 78 kilograms. Um, and then we're going to multiply by the our average specific heat of human flesh, which is 3.6 kilojoules divided by kilograms per Kelvin. And um, we're just going to multiply it by X minus 310 Kelvin. I don't really know Anakin's body temperature. We're just going to assume it's the average 310 Kelvins. So after plugging that in, I end up with X is equal to 848.14 Kelvin. So that means that the final temperature of Anakin Skywalker is 848.14. Four kelvins. Um, and what we know is that human flesh is destroyed at 435 kelvins, and organ tissue vaporization occurs at 378 kelvins. On average, to destroy you know, an entire human body, crematoriums will use 1,033 kelvins to 1,423 kelvins. So, Anakin is somewhere in between there. What we do know is that all the skin should pretty much be vaporized, and if not, you know, his, that, that would be weird. You know, beyond that, his organs should be severely damaged. Uh, he definitely survived, as we know. He had his limbs. He shouldn't have had his limbs. He shouldn't have had most of his blood vessels, most of his organs. They should all have been vaporized and completely burned beyond repair. So, as a result, this clip is pretty inaccurate. Accurate. Anakin should not have survived going into a bunch of lava or alongside a bunch of lava on that planet. What is interesting to note is that Mustafar is actually a colder than expected lava planet. It's only 1,073 kelvins. Most lava is a lot hotter than that. I don't really know the exact number because I kind of forgot and I don't have it with me, but it was hotter than that. So Mustafar has been on the colder. And even then, I think going right near a flow of lava that gives off a lot of smoke, smoke is going in your direction, it's not the best idea. I wouldn't do it. That's just me, right? Given that the entire planet's like that, you're not going to really see lava dissipate into the surrounding environment. So on Earth, you'd have, if, if you're standing, I mean, people obviously use, you got the hazmat and stuff, but if you go near a lava thingy, you're not going to instantly, well, you might instantly die. I've never tried it, but you know, the surrounding air is definitely colder. On Mustafar, it is just not. The entire thing is a lava planet. So the entire temperature is going to be around that 1000 Kelvin zone, and with nothing to dissipate into, it's just going to affect him. So I'm going to be honest. He he's not surviving that. I I, I don't know. Um, if I were Anakin, I wouldn't survive that. I mean, he's got like the midi chlorians Jedi thing, so he he might just be better. I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's not better. I think he's just dead, or he should be dead. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah.